Hello children, today we are going to begin with lesson number 16 that is time. Till now we have studied measurement. Now we have to learn about reading and writing time in hours and minutes. Okay. So why do we need to study time? To We need to study time to be on time. Uh, to be on our time. To complete our work on time. To be on time to the school. Wherever to reach we need to follow the time so like that so how will you read and write the time activity one how will you write this one so there are three hands the first one is short then this is also the long and the third one so short one shows hours this is for minutes and this is for seconds how will you read this one see where is the smaller needle smaller needle is to the three and the bigger needle is to 2. So, how will you write while uh, writing the time in minutes? So, first number for 1 it is 5, for 2 it is 10, for 3 it is 15. We go according to table 5 that you have studied in the last class also. So, the smaller needle is to the 3 and the bigger needle is to the 2. That means it is 3, 10. How will you write in words? 10 minutes past 3. So, what is the hour? 3. How many minutes have passed? 3. So, it will be 10 minutes past 3. The next one. See the smaller needle towards 8 and the bigger one minutes hand is to the 10 and the seconds hands is towards after 5, 3 seconds are there. That means it is to the 8. See, we have passed 7 hours. In between it is. So, 7, 50 it is. Why? 10 means 10 fives are 50. So, 7, 50 you are going to read. If it is reaching, the minute hand reaches to the 12, it will be 8 o'clock. So, how will you write in words? 10 minutes to 8. That means if it is before 15 minutes, we are going to write like this. 10 minutes to 8. Then, the smaller hand is towards 6 and not properly 6. See, near about to 6 it is. And the minutes hand towards the 9. And the seconds hand towards to the after 5, 6 and 7 it is. So, it is what 15 minutes is remaining to B 6 o'clock. So, 5 45 we are going to write. Quarter to 6. Quarter means 15 minutes are remaining to be 6 o'clock. Next, draw the hands of the clocks to show the given time. 5 o'clock means smaller needle to the 5 and the longer one to the 12. Then, half past 3. That means it should be between 3 and 4. Half 3, 30 it will be half past 3 means 3, 30. Then quarter to 7. That means 15 minutes are remaining to be 7 o'clock. Complete the blanks. 1 hour is equal to 60 minutes. So 3 hours is equal to 180 minutes. 3 gets multiplied by 60. It will be 180 minutes. 1 week is equal to 7 days. So, 5 weeks is equal to 7 fives are 35 days. There are dash days in the leap year. How many? 366. Regular means 365 days. 1 fortnight is equal to 14 days. Then, fun time is the AM and PM you have to write. Write AM or PM to make sentence correct. Raj goes to bed at 9, see, you, you will go to the bed at night only. So, it becomes PM. I have my lunch at 2.30. That means lunch we have in the afternoon. It will be PM. My brother goes to school at 7. 7 means it is in the morning, 7 AM. My father goes to sleep at 11. At night it is. We go to the bed at night to sleep. That it will be 11 PM. Then, Write the time using AM or PM. 5.30 in the morning, it is AM. 11.30 in the 
evening that means it will be pm evening night time 4:15 in the afternoon it will be pm if it was morning it would have been am 1:35 in the afternoon that means it is pm what time will it be 3 hours after 6:40 pm 6 means it will get added it will be 9:40 9:40 pm means it will be pm only 5 hours after 8 am 5 if you add after 8 9 10 11 12 and 1 o'clock it becomes pm then 2 hours after 120 pm so it will be pm only how will you read the time exactly in minutes see as i said earlier the shorter hand shows the hour then comes minutes and then comes second so for 1 it is 5 for 10 uh, sorry for 2 it is 10 then for 3 it is 15 then for 4 20 like that for 9 it is 45 we are going to have table 5 here so keeping in mind we are going to write the times and with the seconds example smaller needle is towards 6 and the longer minutes hand 3 it was 3 means 3 fives are 15 after that it has passed how many seconds you have to see also so it is towards 10 so how will you write this one 6 17 15 then 16 and 17 that means 6 hours and 17 minutes so what are you going to write 17 minutes passed it is 6 see before if it is 30 you are going to write past and this one is minutes 2 it is remaining like that okay then 9 34 it is given 26 minutes to 10 that means after 9 30 what is going to be it will be 10 o'clock before 30 it is past whereas after 6 7 8 9 10 that thing you are going to write is minutes to that means so much time is remaining to become that hour abhi kya bolte hain yahan pe 6 ke pehle jo bhi aayega usko hum log past bolenge aur ye jo 6 7 8 9 10 hai usko hum log kya karenge wahan pe minutes to itne minutes baki hai itne bajne ke liye we are going to say like that 26 minutes to 10 see 5 10 15 20 25 like that you are going to read the number so 20 minutes are remain 26 minutes are remaining to 10 o'clock like that we have c also 2 hours and 56 minutes that means 2 o'clock has been completed and about to be 3 o'clock so how many minutes are remaining 4 minutes to 3 suppose 6 ke pehle hota to wahan pe hum log past likhte yahan pe agar 6 ke baad mein ho at that time we are writing minutes to so many minutes are remaining to be that hour activity 2 read and write time so smaller needle towards 6 then minutes hand it has crossed 4 after that it has passed 2 minutes that will be 22 minutes 6 as 22 minutes that means 22 minutes past 6 o'clock what i said before 6 o'clock before 6 number means we are going to write the past 20 minutes 22 minutes past 6 o'clock kya bol rahe hain 6 baj ke yahan pe 22 minutes hue hain already 6 o'clock is completed b here also r and smaller hand is at 1 the minutes hand is before 10 that means 9 minutes 1 and dotted then we'll write 9 that means 9 minutes past 1 o'clock 1 o'clock ho ke yahan pe kitne minute ho gaye hain 9 minutes past ho gaye hain okay then this one is 347 in between 3 or 4 ke beech mein hai smaller needle so that means we have completed 3 hour and about 4 4 o'clock 
सो इन दोनों का मिनट्स वाला नीडल सी फोर नाइन मीन्स फोर्टी फाइव फोर्टी सिक्स एंड फोर्टी सेवन सो इट इज थ्री फोर्टी सेवन वट आई सेड फर्स्ट साइड वाला हो तो वो पास रहेगा सेकेंड साइड मीन्स मिनट्स टू सो हाउ मेनी मिनट्स आर रिमेनिंग टू बी फोर ओ क्लॉक थर्टीन मिनट्स टू फोर ड्रॉ द हैंड्स फॉर द ऑफ द क्लॉक टू शो द गिवन टाइम थ्री थर्टी फोर सी स्मॉलर नीडल या शॉर्ट हैंड बिटवीन थ्री एंड फोर एंड द बिगर वन दैट इज फॉर द मिनट्स इज नियरिंग टू सेवन सो इट विल बी थ्री थर्टी फोर देन द सेकेंड बी इज नाइन सिक्स द शॉर्ट हैंड फॉर द नाइन आइन द बिगर नीडल आफ्टर वन One minute's line you have to see it will be nine six. Then similarly do for the C also. Then we are going to read with the seconds hand in this one. Activity three. Read and write the time. See first uh, we have there are three needles hands. One is short then long as well as the uh, seconds hand. so we have completed फोर और फाइव के बीच में है तो इट विल बी फोर आवर्स हाउ मेनी मिनिट्स वी हैव पास्ट सी फोर्टी फाइव होता है यहाँ पे फोर्टी फाइव के बाद में फोर्टी सिक्स फोर्टी सेवन एंड फोर्टी एट वी हेल राइट देन वी हैव टू राइट द सेकेंड्स नीडल्स टाइमिंग ऑल्सो सेकेंड वाला छोटा तीन है वो उसको देखो इट हैज ट्वेंटी फाइव फोर्स आर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन एंड ट्वेंटी टू सो ट्वेंटी टू यहाँ पे हम लोगों ने लिखा है सो हाउ विल यू राइट इन सेंटेंस द एज द मिनिट्स हैंड इज आफ्टर सिक्स सो वी आर गोइंग टू राइट मिनिट्स टू ट्वेल्व मिनिट्स आर रिमेनिंग टू बी फाइव ओ क्लॉक देन बी द स्मॉलर नीडल और द शॉर्ट हैंड इज टूवर्ड्स नाइन सो इट विल बी नाइन आवर देन द मिनिट्स इज लिटिल डार्क सो इट इज टूवर्ड्स वन वन फाइव इज अ फाइव That means we have passed five minutes after nine o'clock. And see the third seconds needle. Three means it is fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nine, eighteen. So write down nine, ah, five minutes and eighteen seconds. So inverse, how will you write? Five minutes past nine. That means we have completed nine o'clock and we have crossed five minutes also. Then the third C one shorter hand. is towards between 1 and nearing to 2 then the minutes hand is towards 9 that will be 45 and the seconds hands towards 48 8 eight means 8 5 is a 45 multiply by 8 5 is a 40 multiply by 5 1 hour 45 minutes this is 45 minutes and 40 seconds in this one how will you write quarter to to we don't write 15 minutes we'll use quarter word for every 15 okay similarly draw the hands of the clocks to show the given timings 7 hour means short hand then show the minutes needle that is 4 after that three lines you have to 4 5 is a 20 and then minutes you count for 3 and then write down the seconds needle See before one you have to draw why one means five one होता है वहाँ पे तो उससे पहले three आता है तो उससे पहले आपको line draw करना है similarly for the b eleven means eleven और twelve के बीच में eleven को short hand then minutes one needle वाला को six पे कर दो then one other needle for seven it is for the second second वाला thin होता है lighter one then c Our needle that is shorter hand for three fifty eight minutes and eighteen seconds. 